Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt. Yes, it is that time once again where this lot are going to be trying to chase me down over the course of 24 hours of game time. At, well, we're going to start at 4 a.m. because that is a nice, convenient, a nice round time. So, yeah, I've got to try and survive for the 24 hours and then escape. At the end of the 24 hours, no matter how many pre's I've blown up, why is that there? I mean, I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna lose a little bit of my head starts to admire the fact there is an upside down police car on the exit. <laughs> Anyway, I digress. Uh, so yeah, there are pre's dotted around the map that I have to blow up. I have to try and get as many of them as I can before escaping at the end of the time. And uh, we've got some tweaks, though, to the game mode. So we have got the roadblock uh, rule in this, whereby the hunters have been allowed to place roadblocks. So the MOCs, the drug labs, or any of those very large sort of Pegasus, I think they're Pegasus vehicles or special vehicles or whatever they are, uh, they are dotted around the map and they are blocking off roads. I don't know where they are. Uh, I'm going to guess some might be around where the prees are located to try and make it difficult for me to escape cleanly and all of that, but... Uh, yeah, dotted about are some of these roadblocks that I'll have to deal with, and they could affect chases, they could affect escape routes. Uh, we have also got some some different rules regarding shooting. So the blimp has only one life. If shot down, it is out of the game for good. However, I'm not allowed to use homing rockets on the blimp because the blimp's had uh, flares removed from it. Uh, so I have to use RPGs, so it's difficult for me to shoot it down. Also, no auto-aiming for anybody. While that is uh, I guess the default way you play GTA on a console, um, there is no auto-aiming for anybody. That's goes for all of us. I have, it might in some ways increase advantage for me a little bit more in that the hunters are still limited in terms of guns. They're still, you know, pistols, single shot pistols. I do have automatic weapons, but the downside, I say the downside, they've still got a lot of people. So they've got a lot of people firing bullets at me. We'll see how it goes. This spawn set is absolute garbage. It's really a mini or an oracle for now. I don't know why I came over here. I was hoping for something just better. I think it's gonna have to be an oracle. So I could go in a comet, but the supercar rule is in effect. Uh, as, as always, if I go in a comet, it means they can then use supercars. I could go on a bike. It is tempting. Wait, Fusillade, Fusillade, you're very, well, you're actually quite good. Fusillade, come here. I want that. I do want the Fusillade. Uh, they are a very good option. I think I actually use a Fusillade quite... I haven't used a Fusillade for a while. I haven't seen one spawn for a while in, in the traffic cars. So I will take that. Thank you very much. I will uh, return my personal vehicle to storage. And then we will whoop, get ourselves turned around. And then we will be almost ready. Uh, we will uh, go for... Uh, sure, why not? Okay. We will begin. So I have got the pre-locations. I have a map for where they are all located. Is there one on the mega bridge? How on earth have they got one there? That would be very mean. Or is it on the dock underneath the mega bridge? I do not want to go and get the one on the mega bridge. I feel like that's just a death sentence. They actually don't have any over this side of the map, really. That's a bit of an awkward one for me to deal with. Yeah, the closest they've got one, they've got one at the airport. They've got one potentially on the big bridge or underneath it. I don't know quite where the dock roads are around there. Uh, so there might be one on the bridge. Uh, that'd be horrifically difficult to get to because if it's stopped on the bridge, to be fair though, it could be one that I get during a chase. Uh, they've got one in the car wash, I think. I think that's where that is. Uh, I don't know what one I want to actually go in for first. There's one at the airport as well. It's an awkward one to get at the airport. I mean, we can head... Mm, we can head to the car wash, to be fair. That might not be too bad of a one to get to. There's a lot of roads out of there. There's a lot of roads out away from the car wash that we could potentially go for. Um... 
yeah, okay. We will head that way. The only, the only problem is, is I don't know. I, I think that's where it is. I, I don't know that bit of the map very well. So that is a pure bit of guesswork. Uh, <laughs> so I think that that is what that part of the map is. But I guess we will find out uh, fairly soon. Um, right. I know where I am at the moment. That's, you know, a positive bit is I know where I am for now. <sighs> What are we going to come against this time? So with, with as I said, with, without the auto-aiming, it's going to be... Shootout's going to be interesting. I do want to get rid of the blimp as early as I can. But it's going to be so contextual trying to shoot it down as far as... For example, right now. Even if I could see the blimp, there's no guarantee... I can't actually see it currently, but there's no guarantee it would be in range. I'll have to wait for it to be in range of an RPG and... I don't want to, and if I shoot once and miss, the blimp is going to run away. Well, there's, there's two two possible things. So if the blimp pilot gets shot down and the blimp, they are eliminated. They could, if they saw a RPG shoot and miss, they could bail and then, you know, parachute away, be on foot. And they wouldn't be eliminated if the blimp, blimp gets blown up, but, you know, they might lose the aircraft. Because if I see a blimp on the floor, I'm shooting it. Because uh, <laughs> I want it I want it eliminated, but it's a huge it's, it's a huge risk of trying to go for it, uh, unless you have got it at the right time. So, yeah, we will we will see what we can do. Uh, if I go left here, then right, I think I end up vaguely on the right road. Somewhere around there will be where I want to head. I haven't seen Oh, there, well, there is the blimp. I, I mean, if I, by the time I got to the construction site and got on the roof and took a shot, it'd be the other side of the city. Haven't seen a hunter car yet at the moment, which is uh, curious. I mean, I guess I went down to the beach area. Probably won't search it much. Because it's, it's it's one of those places that I'll go to, but I don't go to all the time. Uh, and I'm unlikely, I don't often go there right from the off, necessarily. There's a very yellow car up there, which makes me think that's either Lado or Brazen. <laughs> it's so yellow, I saw it from a mile away. Which does rather, yeah, make me think it is one of them, you assholes. Okay, well the good news is... The good news is there's no one around to see me do this. So, the, yeah, the other thing that they do, not only do they block off a potential escape routes, they also force me to act like a human. They force me to betray the uh, incognito to, to drive around it. For example, there, if I want to. <laughs> if I want to get around it quickly. Uh, which I do, naturally. Uh, where are we going here? Uh, and anyway, follow this road down. Doesn't this take us where I want to go? I think it does. No guarantees on that, but I do believe it takes us down this area. Uh, right. Uh, there's car parks next to it, so I can potentially get, you know, have Lester, call Lester, cops turn a blind eye, I can take my time, I don't have to just do a quick sticky bomb and run away, I don't have to smash the window or open the window, uh, which is good news, I think is good news, hope is all good news here. Uh, <laughs> Outside of seeing one hunter car from a long range, I haven't seen a huge amount yet, which does actually fill me with a little bit of dread. I generally don't have great luck when it comes to stuff like that, so uh, I go in this lane, actually. Because uh, I'm, I'm expecting... So the reason I've got in this lane is if cars want to turn right, they're going to get right behind me and they're going to try and fart around and overtake me and push my car about. That would probably be a hunter. Maybe? Hmm. I thought the AIs normally stopped before they did the right turn, but maybe it wasn't. We'll see what this... No, okay, no, no, it was just an intruder. It was just an intruder doing its thing. That's fine. Oh, we're doing a little dance. Uh, now, the AIs do it, but it's one of those... It's one of those things that, while the AIs do it, it is a natural thing, it does generally get you investigated. Anything that gets you investigated, even if it is a legit AI thing, I don't want to do, basically. Uh, oh, that lane actually only goes that way, so that's fine. We are on the path, I think, towards the car wash. <laughs> An important endeavour, for sure, is to head to a... Uh, 
I really hope it is down this road. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, well, see, I think yeah, this is where the car wash is. It's just, is the pre in that location, or is it the other side? It could be around the other side, to be fair. Uh, still no sign of anyone. Hmm. I don't think they're expecting me to go this way first. Uh, it could be in a car park behind it. No, no, it is in there. Okay, I mean, it makes sense. It's an, it's an easy landmark to kind of find or to describe. Uh, right, so we will leave the fusillade here. Uh, right, let's just... I mean, we, I guess we can just go in here. I don't know if I can drive in here or whether it'll, it'll automatically go for the whole, like, let's actually use the car wash uh, mechanic. This is not a great start for us in terms of a number of pre's blowing up. Okay, sticky bomb. Back of the car. Now, I don't have to blow it up immediately. We can run back to our vehicle. I heard something that sounded slightly louder. Crap. I've also just seen. Do we reckon Lado has seen us? Oh, I don't know whether they saw this is an awful place to be. There is no cover on this roof. There's a tiny bit of cover on this roof. Hmm. I've got to blow it up within two minutes. Something's loud. I don't know, just that. Oh, it's possible we were up the ladder high enough that if they didn't look up, they wouldn't have noticed. It's possible. Get down. Yeah, I mean, it's a small possibility, but it is a possibility nevertheless. Uh, right. Okay, okay. We will go through here and we will say bye-bye uh, car. <laughs> that's that's so dangerous. There are so many cars close by as well. Um, there is a freaked out mini doing freaked out mini things, uh, which I don't know whether whether we should act in a similar way. I mm, yeah. It's not great. I'm going to run a red light here because I just want to make distance. I want to make distance. I want to get as far away as possible, as quickly as possible. There wasn't anything directly behind me to see me run a red light. Uh, there are vehicles coming around here. I mean, those are the cars that were in this area at the time. Crane with the um, Phoenix and either Lado or Brazen with the Ingots. I think they're both in Ingots uh, from what they were saying. So it could be either of them. Uh, the blimp is circulating that area. Now, there's a car down here. There is a pre at the airport. I'm not exactly sure whereabouts at the airport. Uh, do we... I mean, there's a... There's a plan forming, right? There's a plan forming in my head. If I blow this car up, oh, they are they are thinking that I might be doing this, I wonder. The plan that I've currently got forming is if I go blow up this pre at the airport, they will expect my action to be drive away from the airport, right? And it makes sense. The last thing I want to do is go down somewhere where it's a dead end. This is a complete dead end. There is no way for me to get out other than... I say to back out the way we came in. Essentially, well, there's two. There's there's the motorway, and then there's the, the couple of other exits. But this this corner, you know, you're stuck. Now I could go into the airfield and I could try and use an aircraft, a plane, or a helicopter. But the blimp will see it. They will see it if they're on foot. And it's very difficult to lose. If we got an attack helicopter and went after the blimp, we could probably scare the blimp out off uh, some way or another. But then we've got to try and de-helicopter, and that's very difficult. 
uh, because they can just keep track of it. If I parachute down, they can follow a brightly colored parachute and all of that. Um, my contemplation was, I don't like hiding in one place, but if we ran into the airport and like hid in a hangar, they wouldn't expect that. And then wait and hope and wait until we think the coast is clear. But it would be a, such a gamble because you have to wait until the coast might be clear and then guesswork and leave. And if you haven't left it long enough, they will, you, you will now have given them a lot of time to get vehicles to the, well, that, to, you know, the, oh, that's a horrible place. The hell am I going to get that one? Uh, there is a road down there. I don't know how to get onto it legit. Uh... Is it up here, I think you do. Hello, how's it going? Hmm. Can't see like a blimp or anything. I don't know whether AI cars actually traverse down this bit. Ooh. Okay. The, the uh, uh, I mean, we could. We could go for a swim. Can I actually even get out of here? Okay, that is destructible. Hmm. If we swam across there, they wouldn't expect that. It would mean abandoning a good car and probably having a bad car for a little while. Okay. Actually, why do I... Uh, yeah, I think I'll do this on. Can I call a Lester? I doubt... I mean, if there's someone around here, they might see me. Hey, there was something loud. Uh, a couple of minutes. All right, I won't worry about that. Then we'll just call, we'll just call off the police instantly. Uh, right, okay. So, we are going to run away, we are going to swim across. Shame there's not like a jet ski about. Or something. Uh, right, here we go. And... Swim! Okay. Now, the reason I, I wanted to actually call Lester before I jumped in the water, however, there was the blimp. The blimp was actually a little closer than I would have liked it to be. So, there we go. Uh, although the blimp has turned away. Which means maybe it's heading the wrong direction for now. Why is it heading over there? This is when we go through this really elaborate escape plan. And the problem is this is just eating up our time quite a lot. Uh, we have this really elaborate escape plan. And they were never notified properly. Can I call Lester while in the water? Oh, you can. We can just tread water. We're very unlikely to be spotted. And hey, there's a police boat. That's why I wanted to get rid of it. Because a police boat will be a really bad giveaway that I'm what I'm up to uh, so hopefully that despawns before anyone figures out where we're going uh, I mean if we we I know there are cars over here it's just what vehicles are going to be here it could be a fusillade they've got cars over there I can see them I can see the yellow ingots there I mean, it makes sense again they're gonna probably be faster to respond because they were in this area at the time uh, we may, if things fail, we either go for a swim, we can camp out on the boat. That is always a distinct possibility. There's a car, there's normally some cars in the car park over here. Ooh, there's a fusillade! Fantastic, this is what we like to see. Uh, cool, well, that's what I'm aiming for. I am. Uh, it's probably it's slightly risky running around with a gun, but uh, at this point, I think I'm going to be made if I am seen. I've got to get. To, uh, if I don't want to really smash the window, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I would rather steal a car off the street, per se, say, but. but hello. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Where is the way out? Actually, I'm going to put the gun away for us. No, put the knife away as well. Just in case there are guards. How do I get out of here? Has anybody seen an exit? I would, I would, if I was, you know, playing normally, I would just grenade the fence or something. However, uh, I can't do that. 
Uh, I oh, few slate, please don't, please don't have despawn. I'd rather you than a mini at the moment. Minis aren't bad though. I mean, it's, it's not a terrible option. It, it, it's, a, it's an option that's better than a dump truck or a cement mixer. There is a small possibility, and it is a small one, but there is a possibility that they might have roadblocked this. I don't know why you would. You're not expecting me to go here, right? This this very unlikely, very unlikely for me to go down here with. I'm trying to clear that window. Sometimes doing that does work. Uh, no, sometimes they roll it down. Uh, sometimes they don't. Unfortunately, don't want to get rid of that. I'm gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna have to live with that one for the moment. Oh, I've got to slow the AI on this bit. So there's a car. There's a pre up on the bridge. I wonder if they headed there thinking I might try and loop that one in. Ooh, yeah, they've kind of... they kind of got the idea of what I might have done. Now searching this area. Oh, the funny truck is here! <laughs> if Blakey sees it, Blakey will be driving it. Unless Blakey has already found one. And that's another one. The funny truck is about... They are having a look. Right, I want to get out of here. I don't want to hang about. I mean, if they see me do that, I will be spotted, but... I kind of want to get a bit of a move on here, really. I don't want to be wasting time. Now, maybe this car was found naturally spawning down here, to be fair. Um, it does stand out a little bit. It's not the most incognito vehicle. I guess a truck would be better, but if a truck gets in a chase, I'm kind of done for. So, yeah. I'd rather not. Don't know where the blimp is. Haven't seen it for a while. Uh, if we... Oh, Bobcats had a crash. Okay. Oh, I was about to go overtake that, but then I saw some pedestrians running around, uh, which kind of made me a little nervous as to what is going on. Uh, I'm going over here now, and I'm trying to get a move on. What has happened over there? Someone's done something to freak out a load of pedestrians. I wonder if it was the lifeguard truck. It could have been. Can't see the blimp anywhere, which is confusing, actually. Hmm. Okay. So, there's a car in Mirror Park. That may honestly be my best bet now. It's kind of far enough away that it's probably not the first one you think I'd go to. Especially if they don't, they don't know where I went from that one. They don't have a clue where I went from that one. It looks like they were checking the docks in case I went for a swim, but no solid leads on it, so... They will think I've snuck past the net leaving the airport. Or that I'm still in the airport. I mean, if you thought I was in an aircraft... Okay, the aircrafts are so difficult to use. You can't really sneak away with them. They're more of a shock and awe escape. I'm trying to find the blimp. Oh, bloody minis just appeared from nowhere. Where is that blimp? Yeah, I mean, we haven't done anything to it. Okay, Mirror Park it is. Whereabouts in Mirror Park is it? It's kind of in the corner bit. And it's in the awkward bit to deal with because there's not really any good ways out. Uh, if I spot a, another fusillade or anything half decent, I'm swapping out of it. Because A, I'm not seeing many of them spawning. So it might get looked at as being a little bit odd and it's got a smash window. So if it does look be, get looked at even for a split second, because they haven't seen one for a little while, it'll then immediately get picked up. So, I, yeah, I'm a little concerned about my car choice. Now, I'm not going to bother stopping at that light. There's no sign of a hunter. We're in a bit of a rush. Not, not a massive rush, but we are. I, I, I would like to make some ground while I can. Because uh, we've, we've, I guess we don't need to get out of the car. With the window already smashed, like, what's the point in getting out of the car? We don't have to fart around with that anymore. We can stay in the car. If, if this pre is in a location I can reach easily enough, that is the big question here. So if we follow this road around, I should probably go a little bit fast. Uh, there's the black guy. Blimp's miles away. It's not to say there's not going to be somebody up here watching and red. And I say watching, but not going to be the cars. There, there's a lot of them cruising around the city. One may well have a look at Mirror Park. Uh, so you know we are probably knowing my luck, we're going to time it very badly. Oh, there is 
No, we've got lots of green lights. Oh, there's the arm. Oh, the armored car. <laughs> I mean, it would be funny to try. It'd be funny to have one of them. <laughs> there's a little bit of my brain that it would be tempted to jump in one of them. Because it would be funny to use it, pretend that I was just doing like the armored truck stuff. Because no one's got a map on, they're not going to know that it isn't a genuine one, right? The problem is, if I did, there's a half chance that someone would go, Ah, oh, there's an armored car, let's go and nick it, because it'll be funny. And that would be bad, basically. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh, buffaloes are spawning, okay. Buffaloes and oracles are here. And either of those is not a bad option. Uh, do we run this and hope the damage is desynced? I mean, I do hope the damage is desynced. Blimp is flying low over the motorway at the moment. By the time we get there, the blimp will be will have moved on. I haven't had many close calls with Hunter cars. Outside of escaping from the car wash one, where there were a few heading towards as we left, we haven't really seen many of the cars. So if we go, I mean, we can go left, follow it all the way around. It's actually slightly, oh, do we reckon they've got an MO, do we reckon they've got a roadblock on one of the bridges out of here? I mean, part of me thinks they might have done. I feel like they've blocked it off before. Ooh, we should probably look before, look before we blow up a car. Probably. Solid life advice in this one. Where would the vehicle be? I saw a red car just for a second. My, my, I did like a double take on it. So, okay, we're further along here. That we know, good. that's what we expect. It is in one of these houses. Oh, did I just drive up, go up a driveway? Huh. Hola. Didn't actually know they did that. Is that an AI? Really? No. no? It is an AI. I mean, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have let me do that. I think if it was a hunter. That's weird. I've never seen that. I've never seen him go up a driveway, let alone then be confused, drive around in a circle, and yeah, uh, do that. Right. Blimp. I've got to wait for the blimp to go past. What do you need, exactly? Oh. Why is that unavailable? Give me a call what? Back when simple decisions don't freak you out Why is so that not available? I did just see a, an estate car cruise hey, past as well. Lester, your literal one job okay, then. Wow. you can't do. You I guess we're going to have to do remove wanted level after we've done it then. Uh, that's frustrating. Hmm. Okay. Well, if we just do that. Sticky bomb that. Cruise away. Uh, this is going to get a little dicey then. Lester, my good man, if you could give us some assistance Hi. right here. What service are you looking for? No, apparently none of them are available. This okay, is a very big problem. I swear that was available. I must have just not looked at it. Uh, okay, how the hell am I going? What the hell am I going to do here? Right, I've got to go for. Uh, I've got to go for a very stupid plan. Uh, I'm hoping that this is so dumb that the car that just followed us will not expect it. It did expect it. Um, right. Get out of it. So, I'm doing this because police are a big concern to me. Uh, police are actually now the real legit concern. I don't know why I'm not allowed, why I'm no longer allowed to call Lester. Uh, which has apparently been taken away from me. Uh, so, we are going into a subway tunnel. Uh, the shooting at it was just to scare them off. I'm not actually worried about them coming down there. I'm not worried about that firefight. I don't. I mean, if I could kill them, it would have been great. But I just something that could just fill their car full of bullets and get them to turn away, uh, so they will have you know like reason to pause briefly uh, while I make my kind of escape. 
really. Uh, they will now be blocking off the other exit that I'm going to come out at. They will be blocking that off in preparation. Uh, they probably won't have time, and in, unless, they, unless they are lucky and have a car in place. I'm not coming out of this tunnel at the point where they are going to expect me to be coming out of the tunnel. We're, we are woo, driving down the um, uh, subway tunnel basically, and I'm going to pick a station and come out there. Uh, just somewhere far away from where I will be expected to come out. Uh, right. Into the subway we go. Um, and again, I don't know whether they'll expect me, what way they'll expect me to go through the subway, whether this would be the one, this would be the direction they would expect or not. Anyone's guess. However, we are going to for a different strategy. Ah. Uh, Apparently, they were they were thinking about it. Oh, well, we've rolled over a unicorn. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a Stevie. Ah, oh, damn it. There's an ingot. And, oh, this doesn't go the way I thought it did. Okay, we should have actually gone the other way because we would have stayed underground for longer. Uh, right. Hello. Don't mind me. Well, now we are very much in a chase. Uh, we have got Shafter. We've got an ingot. And Vigoro, I believe, was the other thing that was uh, giving chase. We've got rid of the cops. I mean, that's a problem dealt with. That, that is something dealt with. It's only one of the problems. I and mean, we still have the scenario of I've got cars on me and, a, well, and a blimp at some point. Uh, can I? Whoa! That's a big slide. Didn't need that. Uh, I am contemplating. Can I blow up some prees while I'm in a chase? Uh, oh god, it's very difficult to try and figure out where they are on the map. There, a lot of them are to the north part of the map. There's one up by a hotel, there's one up by... in the hills somewhere. I don't quite know whereabouts in the hills, somewhere up there. Uh, there is one up by the cinema area, I want to say. Um, the only MOC I found is down by the, like, helipad area. Which is a difficult one, although it's not, because it didn't really block the whole road, so it wasn't the worst thing in, worst thing to deal with. Can't see where the blimp is. The blimp is above us. Oh, okay, narrow gap, that's fine. Uh, the shaft did definitely catch with us doing that. Uh, we've only got one of the cars following us at the moment. If we can, if we can have, I think that's Liam, uh, I believe that is their vehicle. If we can somehow shake it. Okay. It's so difficult to track of the blimp still following me. I can't. I've got to I worry about dealing with the shaft at first. Oh, jeez. That turned up. <laughs> the bright yellow ingot made an appearance. That was very close to being expertly timed. Uh, it was not quite, but it was a damn good effort. Uh, I don't know if they saw me make that turn. Funny truck is here! Oh, thought it might make an appearance again. <laughs> oh, funny truck gave us some grief as well. That looked like, I don't know what it was, an emperor, something heavy. Oh, I see some pink lights. I'm bailing away from that. Uh, I was trying to use anything to cause grief here. And it sort of worked. It sort of worked at the moment. We are bombing through the streets. We've actually got a little bit of a lead on whatever is following. There may well have been some crashes back there. Oh, God, it's trying to carry as much speed. No idea where the blimp is. Can't see it. It could be directly above us, and I just can't tell, and I can't look. I can't look around well enough uh, to be able to really see. Uh, let's go down here. Reason, well, the downside to me heading down here is it's quite an easy location to describe. It's easy to cut me off. Uh, ooh. Although my plan is to head down here. If a blimp can't see us, where the hell is the blimp? I just can't. I can't tell if the blimp is even able to see us. I've completely lost sight of it. But I can't see it anywhere else. So if it can't see us, I don't know where it is. And if it can see us, there it is. Oh, God, it's miles away. It may have, they may have got distracted following a different white fusillade. Because, I mean, there are plenty of them about. If someone followed us in, actually this is a terrible place, we can get ambushed from either side. 
I don't think anyone is following us. The blimp's so far away. If a, if 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 someone was following us and had some sort of sight on us, you wouldn't have the blimp so far away. I don't I don't know why you would um, intentionally leave the blimp that far away. Where's the stairs? There are the stairs. I do. I don't know why you would. So I can't imagine there was a vehicle following us at that point. I mean, I have... I abandoned the car under the bridge. My my theory being is just in case... There's nothing's going to be able to see there, right? Unless they're directly passing under the pier. You're not going to spot that car from a distance. Not that the blimp is close, but just, yeah, no one's going to spot that car in passing. The getaway was good. My location is awful in terms of... We want to get some more prees to do that. I have got to get out of here. Do I just break the supercar rule? I don't want to get the cars on the pier because uh, I don't want to smash a window on a supercar. Oh, they blocked a blimp on the motorway. Ah. Huh. We didn't get to see that. Uh, or do I just say stuff it? Because if we grab one of the supercars... Hmm. Yeah, if we grab a supercar, they will struggle to find time to get one. Uh, that felon. See, I was suspicious of the felon, and then that came up, and it scared the crap out of me. But it was Blakey on a bike. It was very tempting to shoot Blakey in the back of the head. Uh, I'm glad I stopped running when I did. You know what? Felon. Here. Please. I was going for a supercar. However, a felon's turned up. And that will have to do. Okay. What is going to be my best bet to get another... We've ended up back down bloody over here. What's going to be my best bet? All the other side of the damn map. <laughs> it's always the way. It's always the way. There's one at the hotel behind the golf course. I think that's the the closest I'm going to be able to get, right? Just looking at where they are located. Oh, there's an MOC up here as well. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go around that. <laughs> Yeah, the one at the... It's either the one at the golf course, or behind the golf course, or the one in the hills, if we can get to it. I think we're going to head towards... It's not been the greatest... I mean, we've been... We've been subtle enough in places. We've made it work. Oh, don't you bloody dare. Oh, that was unfortunate. Actually, no, there's one over here somewhere. Isn't there? Yeah, sorry, I've just noticed the little dot. There is one up here. I am in trouble because I, I rode a curve. I, so I was trying to get around the corner getting away from a car. And I rode a damn curb. So a car was trying to overtake me. And I was trying to sneak away from it. Because I was worried about the Vigoro, I think it was, seeing me. And then as we did that, another car came around the corner. Although they have seemed to have not cared... They came and had a look and were not fussed. I should probably change my clothes at some point. Whoever was in the, the whatever the Volvo estate car thing is, the classic that, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, I wanted to call it the Faggio, but it isn't. Um, whatever that... This sounded like a weird doomsday siren. Whatever it was, Apollo was not so keen on it, but... Uh, I don't actually know what it was that went off. Um, I don't even know if it was in the game. It was a weird-ass sound occurred there. Um, but anyway, yeah, that car that car looked at us, but it obviously didn't see anything, anything suspicious, anything it didn't like. We don't have a smash window or anything, so we got away with it. What the hell? Oh, there's a laggy car going on back there. Eh... Uh, 
Oh god, lights are green. I was busy watching and busy looking around. Well, I was partly checking the map uh, to see if there was any other prees. So there, there is one down by Scotty's apartment bit over there. Um, however, we were so there was there was cars around at the time that kind of I say freaked me out a little bit, but certainly made me acutely aware of the need to get a move on. Really, uh, right. So I'm expecting it to be. Up there in the car park somewhere. What is the time? Okay, we've got four hours of game time left. That's about eight minutes. I mean, realistically, if we blow this one up quickly, it would be difficult to get to another one without getting spotted. Not impossible. Uh, it's not here. Uh, oh, have they hidden it somewhere sneakier? Maybe. Well, we've already dealt with a couple of sneakier hidden cars. Uh, it looks like it might be slightly further around the corner, perhaps? This is bad, though, because if I get spotted coming out of here, we are definitely made. Don't mind me. I'm a perfectly... I mean, that, what I'm doing there... Well, the corner was a little bit illegal, but up until that point was... Ah, I, it's got to be over here because I've got a MOC somewhere. Is it up in the... Up there, maybe? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I see it. Hmm. What? Oh, that's actually a really good roadblock. What if... Okay, what if... How we deal with this is park this up, make it look like a parked car. That roadblock's completely stuffed. So I, I'm going to have to go out that way, regardless of whether I want to or not. Um, Lester, are you actually going to be effective now? Hello. What can yeah, I, do I, I don't know why Lester was unavailable before. Okay, that's not gonna be okay Lester just wanted to make life difficult for us. I wonder whether I had like no cash on me, but no, no, it wasn't that at all. It's just the game was being dumb. Uh, right, we are going to get that slap the you on there. Check the coast is clear. I mean, it's as clear as it's going to be, right? There's not much I can check here. If we just do that, at least be we can have a little nosy first. See that the coast is clear. Blow up that. I should maybe have got into the car before, but never mind. We've got into the car now. And then if we bail and head out this way, we can head around the back of the... <sighs> we could try and find the car up in the hills, you know. Downside of going up towards the hills is it takes me a lot further away from my than my from my escape routes. Uh, how on earth would I get to it? Because oh, it's miles away, actually. We're going the wrong direction. We could try it. We could definitely try it. Would they expect it? That's the downside. If because they they know I'm running out of time. I've only got three hours left to try and get another car. I could maybe even maybe give it a bit more speed here. I mean, I don't doubt they're going to be checking this way. So if we head up here, if we hook... Oh, would we have to hook a little turn? Oh God, I think we're going to really struggle to get to it in time. Don't know if those roads take me where I want to, because we're going to go up to the top one. There's no one going to be checking this, though. Just leave this road here. This is the road I want. Uh, I th no. Is this the road I want? Maybe I'm slightly lost. Yes, this is the road I want. Oh. Uh, right, okay, so if we go along here, I think we're up on this bit of the road. God, what point do I come down? I think if I follow this road down... Uh, I'm th okay, right, I know where I am. The blimp is hovering over the university, kind of the running track area. So if we head down here... God, how am I going to get out of here? There's the bigger question. I bet a lot of these roads are blocked by MOCs. Not that we've really been up here very much. I've got to get a move on. I don't have time. Do not have time to wait. So if we go this way... Yes, hello, Apollo. Yes, hello, dog. And then we are looking for, there is a truck, oh, it looks like Mpega is driving funny truck today. Uh, 
Uh, it looks like in Pegasus suit. Yes, hello, Apollo. Do you want to do commentary again? Uh, you were quite good at commentary before. Uh, oh. This is bad news for me. This is very bad news for me. Yeah, I don't want to be here, but I don't really have much of a different option at the moment. Uh, yeah, that... I do not have much in the way of an option here. Well, I have an option. Do I go? What is the time? You see, I'm half tempted to just go for a full-on shootout. The longer I wait, the more cars they get into this. This is leading me towards the MOC. Forgot about that bit. Uh... Right, let's not run the risk of getting caught by the MOC. Uh, that, that's, yep, I did slightly forget about that being there until the last second, until it was a bit too late. We're going to have to run again. Uh, Blakey on the bike. <laughs> Blakey on a bike has turned up. Uh, Blakey on a bike was in a chase, but uh, yeah, well, we kind of snaked back around roughly to where we were, but... I was trying to get to... Yeah, you lot go that way. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy going this way now. Right, felon. Oh, dodge that. Yeah, maybe I should have gone... Well, I'd say maybe I should have gone to a supercar. Ah. We got another vehicle. Now we've got to start potentially preparing for an escape. Or could we run? Where is, is there any other I can get to? Uh, there's one up by the cinema. Could maybe try and get to that one in time. What is the time? Three o'clock. That only gives us... Well, that gives us an hour of game time. That gives me two minutes of drive. I don't know where it is, though, up here. If it's not easily located, it's going to be very difficult. And they will probably have figured out... Well, they might figure out what I'm up to here. I don't know whether they would. However, there is a chance. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. I know I can't get out of here, though. Uh, even if it's not an ideal location. Uh, we can snake our way through this bit. I mean, maybe... I'm pretty sure it's Liam with the shafter will get stuck. I mean, if I'm going to find this pre I'm going to have to find it pretty damn quick because I think it might be down there. Uh, uh, nope. If it is down here, I don't know whereabouts. Uh, oh! A lot of vehicles. A lot of vehicles were there. There's a, there is... Oh, hello, funny truck. There is 100% a pre somewhere around that area. I just don't I think around that area. Maybe it's a junction over or something. Uh, I can't tell. I don't have I don't have time as well. There's too many vehicles pursuing us for me to be able to investigate that properly. No other pre is easy for us to get. Not with not with the time left. No, uh, we're not gonna get to the one on the bridge. Oh that's unfortunate. Thankfully, it's such a narrow section, there was very little they could do. Uh, so now we're having to really start thinking about escape. Now there is always the bail into a helicopter. Now that is a solid escape strategy. The blimp is quite a long way up. Uh, yeah, escape into a helicopter, always a very viable plan. However, I have to get in the helicopter without getting shot. If they've got lots of people around, that's tough. Very tough. Uh... We, I mean, how, like, do we have a good enough... Nope. Oh, no, wait, I thought that was the shaft. Do I have a big enough lead to do it here? Oh, no, I don't think so. And they would be expecting it to a degree as well. There could have even been a car down there. Uh, time is up, so now we must escape. We must flee the city somehow. Uh, I mean, so far, blinding speed in the felon is working quite well. The problem I get is... Oh, uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. They won't expect me in here. Maybe they might not expect me here. I don't know where the blimp's gone, to be honest with you. Can't see it. Blimp's gone behind a building. Whether that still knows where I am or not, I couldn't tell you. I'm going to guess with a... I'm going to go with a yes. If Funny Truck has managed to rejoin the chase, I'm going to hazard a guess that it knew up until that point the blimp has gone the wrong way. That, I don't want to go in the tunnel. It's kind of a... Traps you in. It's stuck down here. I do not, do not see... Anything in the immediate vicinity. Of course. Now, where is... 
so there's an alleyway here. Uh, oh, I thought there were some stairs. I thought there was an alleyway with some stairs that I could climb up. And check. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to climb up on the top of the car. Uh, so this is more of a... Hide scenario. The car's very poorly hidden. Uh, right, I don't know what that is. In terms of clothes, but I just got anything that will change the look is good. Yeah, I could have sworn there was a ladder around here that could get me on a roof. Just get me out of the way. I saw something. Like, I'm, just, I'm suspicious of every car that goes past. I do agree, dog. Uh, there's a reason to be suspicious of every car. Wait, is that. No, that's not a ladder. That's just a column. It's just like a big pillar. Uh. I mean, the felon's very well tucked into the corner. You see, the thing is, we might have got away, but is it any better here than on the run? I swear there was a way on the rooftops around here, but apparently not. I don't know whether the player cars are generally louder. It makes me more nervous when I can hear that. Shame, shame my car's not tall enough, although I don't think, outside a funny truck, I don't think anything's going to be tall enough to get up there. There's one of them. They're doing a U-turn in a bright gold machine. If I somehow survive, this is sketchy as anything. Oh god, I don't like this. <laughs> There's a lemon in a bus. The bus actually almost blocked us off. I don't know why they're around here. I don't know why they're hanging around here. The thing is, it may well just be a case of they're messing around and it happens to be... And it does happen. You know, they've obviously lost sight of me. They knew, they knew the rough direction I was going in, right? Jeez! That's close! I can't see what's happening. A lot of things are blowing up. And I don't know why. Why are things blowing up? Why are things exploding? I mean, the little alcove for the felon has worked quite well. So they don't realize, I can't imagine they don't, re they don't realize how close they are to me at the moment. God, how do I get out of here? So this is the difficulty, right? A lot of people say, oh, why don't you like just pull around a corner and, and you know, dive in an alleyway and they, and, and they lose sight of you, okay? And that is kind of doable. Sort of. The problem you run into when you do that is this. Is they lose sight of you, so they just search an area because they think, oh, well, this area makes sense. This, is, this area could be where I'm hiding. That thing looks really suspicious as well, and I want to shoot the driver. But I got no way... It could have just been an AI pulling over for the police. I mean, so there are people walking around. We are going to try and nonchalantly walk our way out of this. So, on foot is super dangerous. On foot is mega dangerous because uh, my walk animation is slightly different to the AIs. I can't really cross roads easily. Uh, without being spotted. However, it's unexpected, and to see my walk animation being wrong is difficult. You have to be really paying attention, and they're not expecting me to be on foot. Uh, did that other life truck, lifeguard truck, just drive off? I think it did. But how do I get out of here now? Maybe we should have got the helicopter when we had the chance. That is a legit fire truck. That is not even one of them. Oh, well, fair enough. That is one of them. I believe. Crap. <laughs> I wanted a car. 
And now I can't even really look, because if I look, my character wanders a bit. So many. There's, there's still vehicles. The problem is, alright, there's vehicles around here because there's stuff going on. The blimp is bloody parked here. What the crap am I going to do here? Like, currently, I am kind of safe. Not very safe, but kind of safe. What is going on? Oh no, now I'm gonna have to go with the. I'm gonna have to go this way with the running AIs, because if I'm walking the other way while AIs are running, that's gonna look really suspicious. Uh, oh, and I can't make any. I can't make, like, the screams and whatnot. Oh god, why the hell do I get out of here? Right, I'm hoping they're gonna go straight on. So, pedestrians do cross the road, but it's normally only when they're freaked out. Oh god, this stuff going on. There's just, like, all-out warfare currently going on in and around the area where I am. What the hell am I gonna do? Okay, well, there's plenty of... Jeez, what is that? Sounds like someone's got a Gatling gun. Um... I don't know what's occurring in all of this. I'm slightly worried about that lifeguard truck. I think it might be on to us here. Maybe. Don't qu I don't quite know what's going on at the moment uh, <laughs> with, with all of that. Um, there's a lot of sirens around here. I don't, <laughs> I don't quite know what Bumpy's done <laughs> to deserve the punishment. Oh, crap. There's so many cars around at the moment, which I do not like, because what the hell am I going to do about this? Now, they've just gone past. So the thing is, with the whole, like, you can challenge a player, it's not really useful to them, because there's so many of them around at the moment that it gives them issues. Um... They seem to have just gone all out war on themselves at the moment. Uh, clearly, they were dis displeased with their. Um oh, geez, I almost got run over there. Clearly, they were displeased with their blimp pilot and have decided to shoot said blimp pilot. Um, so, I guess we're just stuck in the middle of a war and I don't know how to leave the area. Maybe. I mean, there's so much chaos going on, they're probably not going to notice an AI going for a trip into here. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think we've avoided the war for now, unless anybody happens to look this way. My hope is that they're too distracted with whatever the hell is going on in that section that we can just... Oh no, there's a car in the drain. Would that have seen me is a very good question. I was a long way away and I would have been a little speck a long way away. Okay, how... I mean, there are cars here. There are there are cars here that we could potentially grab. Uh, right, Oracle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. My best bet, I think, out of here is going to be... Oh, where the hell is our best bet from here? Helipad or airport? I feel like airport, maybe. I don't, actually, why am I heading this way? This is literally right. This is literally right towards where the chaos is going on. Don't quite know why I've gone this way, but you know. 
the hell is going on here? There's so much mayhem occurring at this point. Yeah, we're in trouble. I should have gone. I should have gone all the way down to the bottom of the docks, and oh, so I didn't want to go across the bridge because I figured the bridge was blocked, right? So if I go down to the docks, we were going to have a problem. Yeah, we're about to have a problem now. I think. Do we? Yep. <laughs> Run over one of them, I feel like, is a good plan. Ah. Uh, I yeah, I slightly forgot that was going to take me towards the trouble area, basically. Uh, can we uh, get... I mean, they've got no aircraft. They have not got an aircraft to do this pursuit. We wouldn't be able to get an aircraft off the ground quick enough to do what I wanted to do here. Oh, definitely saw a... Can I fit down there? Yep. Sweet. I mean, if one of them ballses that up, that's my hope, right? Is one of them has that issue. They literally did exactly what I wanted them to do. Because what I am going to hopefully be able to do here is... Uh, make a break for a helicopter. Uh, because they lost a little bit of time falling down there. Will I have the time to get a helicopter in the sky before I get shot? Come on, helicopter! Oh, no. We will not have time. Actually, no, no that might work. That might work. Because what they've done is they've foolishly helped me out. <laughs> they've actually been more useful there. Oh, the helicopter is very smoky. I'm not sure we're going to get far away from the city. Oh. Uh, are we, we're not, we might not get very far. However, the smoky helicopter. Yeah, they would have actually been better off parking. They would have been better off parking and getting out of the vehicle rather than hitting me. Because what they essentially did is give me a jump start. Admittedly, it was with an aircraft. It's not very usual that, uh, that, that you get a jump start with an aircraft. However... Yeah, I'll tell you what, that was very close to having my helicopter go down. Bloody hell. We have managed to escape. <laughs> oh, that was hard work. That was very hard work indeed. Christ. We just got stuck in the middle of a war zone at the end there, trying frantically to get out. There's all sorts, all manner of chaos. I think mutiny may have occurred at some point. Uh, quite a lot of points along the way there. Uh, a couple of bad decisions from me. I, I should not have gone the way I did when heading towards the exit vehicle. I was busy thinking, like, directional what way to go more than what way chaos was going on. And that was an issue. Um, yeah, I'll take it. It's a victory. We didn't get as many prees as we wanted to. We got a little bit boxed in uh, in places. I mean, we came up with some good plans to get away from prees so we weren't tracked. But it did eat up a lot of time. And some of the end, like the Hail Mary ones, they were more difficult to find. Uh, trying to do a whiz around and uh, and grab those. But we did make it away. It took us a while. It took us a while. However, we did survive. Well, there we go. There we go. That is going to be it for, uh, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.